Welcome to episode 35 of Norse Myths, Legends, and Folk Tales. My name is Mylinda Butterworth, and today we learn how Thor tests the knowledge of the dwarf Alvis before he gives the hand of his daughter in marriage in the lay of Alvis. Alvis tramped all the way from the world of the Dark Elves to Asgard. He hurried towards Balskanir, and in that hall he saw the god he was looking for, but he did not recognize him. I've come for my bride, the dwarf said bluntly. It's taken long enough to get here, I must say, and now it's high time that Thrud graced her new home. Everyone will say I can't wait for my wedding night, but I don't mean to hang around here any longer than I have to. Who are you? asked Thor. Or should I say, what are you? Why is your nose so pale? Do you sleep in a grave mound and keep corpses company? Thor considered all this. You look like a kind of a monster. You certainly won't be the one to marry Thrud. The dwarf drew himself up to his full height, such as it was. I am Alwis, he said, and there's nothing I do not know. I live way down under a hill. My home is a cavern hewn out of rock. Then the dwarf testily brushed aside this talk with a sweep of his hand. I've come to claim Thrud, the agreed price for my work and for my many weapons, that the gods not break their oath. I'll break it, said Thor indignantly. I know nothing of this promise. He stopped down the hall and then called out, A father has the last word as to whom his daughter marries. It's up to him and him alone. So who are you then, hero? demanded Alwis. And what kind of right do you think you have over my radiant bride? You're nothing but some vagabond seldom noticed, little known. The corners of Alwis' mouth twitched. Which woman had to be bought with rings before she would bear you? I, said the god very slowly, and his eyes flashed so that Alwis began to quail, am Thor the hurler. I am the wide wanderer, and I am Odin's son. You'll never win and marry my daughter if I can help it. Ah, said Alvis. He smiled a pallid smile. Well, I'll soon win your goodwill and your consent. I long for your snow-white daughter, and I'll struggle for her. Wise guest, said Thor. I won't be able to stand in the way of your love if you can answer whatever I ask you about all the worlds. Tell me, Alwis, you're the dwarf who knows everything about our fates and fortunes, what is the name of the land that stretches all around us in each and every world? Men call it Earth, that dwarf replied. The Acer said field, and the Vanir says the ways. The giants name it Evergreen, and the elves grower. The most holy gods call it clay. Tell me, Alvis, you're the dwarf who knows everything about our fates and fortunes. What is the name for the sky, child of the ocean, that we can all see in each and every world? Men call it heaven, said the dwarf replied. The gods say the height and the veneer say wind weaver. The giant's name it's high home. The elves fair roof and the dwarves dripping hall. Tell me, Alvis, you're the dwarf who knows everything about our fates and fortunes. What is the name for the moon that we can all see in each and every world? The men call it moon, the dwarf replied, but the gods say mock sun. It's known in hell as whirling wheel. The giants name it rapid traveler, the dwarves a gleamer, and the elves Time teller. Tell me, all this. You're the dwarf who knows everything about our fates and fortunes. What is the name for the sun that we can all see in each and every world? Men call it sun, the dwarf replied. The gods say orb and the dwarves dwarlins delight. The giants name it ever bright. The elves fair wheel and the sons of God all aglowin. Tell me, Alvis, you're the dwarf who knows everything about our fates and fortunes. What is the name for the clouds that hold the rain in each and every world? 
Men call them clouds, the dwarf replied. The gods say chants of showers, and the veneer say wind kites. The giants name them hope of rain, and the elves weather might. And in hell, they're known as helmets of secrets. Tell me, Alvis, you're the dwarf who knows everything about our fates and fortunes. What is the name for the wind that ranges far and wide in each and every world? Men call it wind, the dwarf replied. The gods say waverer, and the most holy gods call it neher. The giants call it whaler, the elves roaring traveler, and in hell it's known as blustering blast. Tell me, Alwis, you're the dwarf who knows everything about our fates and fortunes. What is the name for the stillness, the settling peace in each and every world? Men call it calm, the dwarf replied. The gods say the quiet and the veneer say winds hush. The giants named it the sultry. The eaves days lull and the dwarfs days ref refuge. Tell me, Alwis, you're the dwarf who knows everything about our fates and fortunes. What is the name for the sea on which men sail in each and every world? Men call it sea, the dwarf replied. The gods say smooth lion, and the veneer say waves. The giants name it eel's home, and elves drink stuff, and the dwarfs call it the deep. Tell me, Alwis, you're the dwarf who knows everything about our fates and fortunes. What is the name for fire that burns for men in each and every world? Men. Call it fire, the dwarf replied. The gods say flame and the vanir say wave. The giants name it hungry biter and the dwarves burner. In hell it's known as the hasty. Tell me, Alvis, you're the dwarf who knows everything about our fates and fortunes. What is the name for the wood that grows for men in each and every world? Men call it wood the dwarf replied. The gods say main of the field, and in hell it's known as seaweed of the hills. The giants name it fuel, and the elves fair limbed. The veneer call it wand. Tell me, all this. you're the dwarf who knows everything about our fates and fortunes. What is the name for the knight, daughter of Narvi, in each and every world? Men call it night, the dwarf replied. The gods say darkness, and the most holy gods say hood. The giant's name is lightless. The elves sleeps soothing, and the dwarves the weaver of dreams. Tell me, all this. You're the dwarf who knows everything about our fates and fortunes. What is the name for the seed sown by men in each and every world? Men call it barley, the dwarf replied. The gods say grain and the vanir say growth. The giants name it edible, and elves drink crust, and in hell it's known as slender stem. Tell me, Alvis, you're the dwarf who knows everything about our fates and fortunes. What is the name for ale that men quaff in each and every world? Men call it ale, the dwarf replied. The gods say beer and the veneer say foaming. The giants name it cloudless swill and in hell it's known as mead. Sutong's sons call it feast draught. Thor said, I've never known one person to be the mine of such ancient wisdom. He smiled at his guest, a long, slow smile. And he slowly nodded his head. But your tongue has trapped you, Alvis. The sun's rays attest you. The dwarf whirled around, but it was already too late. The sun's rays attest you, gloated Thor. And they turn you into stone. And now the sun shines in my hall once again. And here's where I end my tale for today. But... I'll be back with more tales 
many more tales. Until then, my friends, enjoy the journey.